For this trip, we're in Western Kentucky looking for bobwhite quail. And it's uh, middle of November, so that means that the woodcock season is still in too, so there might be a possibility there. Now, I've hunted this WMA in the past, but never in November. It's always been January and February. So, so I'm kind of curious to see what the conditions will be like compared to later season hunts. In fact, I came here uh, last year just one day, uh, middle of January, uh, and had a pretty good day for, for what, uh, what I expect here. Uh, and I did get some footage of that. And so we'll actually start this episode with uh, some footage from January of 2022, uh, uh, quail hunting with the same dogs. And then we'll transition to this November hunt uh, and kind of see how it goes from there. All right, I think that's it. Let's, let's get to it. Thanks for coming. I took Boogie and Hank out first on this January morning, and they unfortunately bumped a covey not too long into the hunt, but I saw where the covey went, and so we went looking for singles. It wasn't long before I got an alert that Boogie had gone on point and that Hank was backing. This turned out to be the only bird we got that morning, but I was happy to have it. That afternoon I took Belle out, and she runs a little bit differently than Boogie or Hank in that she doesn't run as big, but at the same time she doesn't run any straight lines at all. She's very thorough in her ground coverage, and it wasn't long before she was on some birds. Bell got pretty gassed running around looking for birds I didn't hit, but I did manage to redeem myself a bit on some follow-up singles. Now I knew Bell was on point in here because of GPS, but the cover was so thick that I never actually saw her until she was retrieving the come on, bird. Bell, come. come on. Come here, Bell. Come, right here. Come, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. There you go, good girl. Unfortunately, I led this second bird a little too much, so I missed it wide right. But I did end up getting another single that I didn't get video of, so that we ended up with two cubbies and three birds for the day. All right, now we're going to transition to November. Something new for me this season is truck camping, or staying actually wherever I'm hunting instead of getting a motel or a cabin. And for this trip, we were there for several nights, and I found a really good spot uh, for the dogs and myself. I've done this now a couple of times this season, and I've been surprised at how much I'm enjoying it, and how much it actually adds to the overall experience. Um, I do have electric heat in the back. Of course, I can cook. I've got a shower tent with hot showers and even a toilet. On this particular morning, the temperature got down to maybe 14 or 15 degrees, but I was perfectly comfortable in the back in a short sleeve shirt and having coffee with my buddy Hank.
I decided to go ahead and make a full breakfast this morning, and, and I really don't eat like this very often, but when I do, I enjoy it. Come here, buddy. There you go. Come on. Come here, Belle. There you go. Come here, buddy. Come here, yours. There you go. All right. Keep those warm. Mm, delicious. Let's get back to some bird hunting here with Boogie and Hank. For this November trip, we did get into some birds, but I gotta admit, it was not great. And I think there are two primary reasons that, um, that this was the case for me. The first was that it was deer season, and I underestimated how many deer hunters would be there. So there were some places that I wanted to go that I just couldn't get in because there were, there were deer hunters there. I am a deer hunter, so I wasn't frustrated by the deer hunters. In fact, I got to come on this trip because I got my own deer on our property second day of the season, which kind of opened up my schedule. The second reason was that the cover was much heavier than I'd seen it before. And that really is just because there hadn't been any winter weather yet um, to push it down. And so it was kind of hard on the dogs. It was hard for me to get around in. But more importantly, I think it affected the birds and how they were distributed and where they were. So I did struggle to find them. On this bird, uh, we had been out for probably three and a half hours already. And we're headed back to the truck and we'd gotten almost within sight of the truck. And I got an alert that Hank had gone on point. Boogie, whoa. Boogie, boogie, there you go, there you go. This turned out to be a woodcock, and it was pretty funny how it played out. This bird really didn't want to take off. Come on, Boogie. What you got?
I got kind of frustrated that I missed this shot in my continued woes with hitting birds so far this season. But in looking at it in slow motion, I was kind of surprised that I missed the bird. Now this is all based on guesstimation, of course, but it's a 26 inch barrel cylinder choke and ounce and a quarter of seven and a half. And I would have thought that it would have been in this pattern range, but it wasn't. It ducked to the right and kept on flying. Now I've got Belle out and I just shot a woodcock and it all happened so fast that I didn't get it on video. But she came up and kind of flash pointed it but was close enough to it. I was close enough to it that it went ahead and flushed and so I shot. Now we're looking for the bird. I believe this is Belle's first woodcock and you can tell compared to her work on quail. But I'm hoping to get her on more birds, more woodcock, and I think that'll clean up her work and improve her enthusiasm. Good, good. No, come here. Come on. There you go. All right. Mm. Too bad I didn't get that on on film. Nice bird though. Good job, Belle. And that was it for the trip. Uh, not much in terms of bird production, kind of like my Michigan trip, uh, but I still had a good time. In terms of quail, we only found three singles and all in different places. And we each took turns bumping them. Hank bumped one, Boogie bumped one, and I walked one up. Kentucky's my home state, so I'm sure I'll be back here looking for quail again. But if I do come back, it'll probably be in the late season. And if I do come back in the early season, I'll definitely have to rethink how I approached quail. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and consider subscribing to the channel.